Hi there, it's Ollie from Construct Learning. Today we're talking about Seeker's chemical anchoring adhesives. We'll be covering how to select and use the correct chemical anchoring adhesive and important regulations relating to seismic zones. As always, it's important to use the right product for the right job, and that's especially important when talking chemical anchoring. The first question you need to ask yourself is whether it's for a structural or non-structural application. And as you'd expect from a global brand leader, Seeker has reliable products that can manage both. Let's talk about non-structural applications first. For a fast curing chemical anchoring adhesive for all grades of rebar or reinforcing steel, threaded rods and bolts, and special fastening systems in non-structural applications, use Seeker Anchor Fix 1. Seeker Anchor Fix 1 is ideal for concrete, solid masonry, hard natural stone, and solid rock. It's fast curing, can be used at low temperatures and is non-sag, so can be used overhead. Seeker Anchorfix 1 is also low odor and made from styrene-free polyester. To make life super easy, it comes in a single 300ml cartridge with a static mixing nozzle, so you can use it with a standard application gun. Now, let's talk about structural applications and the right chemical anchoring adhesive to use for different seismic zones. Seeker has two high-performance chemical anchoring adhesives, Seeker Anchorfix 3001 and Seeker Anchorfix 3030 that can be used for fixing non-expanding anchors in structural work, metalwork, carpentry and substrates. More about that in a minute, but the important thing to know is the key difference and this relates to seismic applications. Seeker Anchorfix 3001 is seismic tested C1, while Seeker Anchorfix 3030 is seismic tested C1 and C2. Let's look a little closer at where to use both chemical anchoring adhesives. In a nutshell, you can use both chemical anchoring adhesives for structural and high load applications with rebars, threaded rods, bolts and fastening systems, handrails, balustrades and support railings. The main difference is if a seismic rated chemical anchoring adhesive is required. There is a limited area of New Zealand you can use a C1 rated anchoring adhesive, Seeker Anchor Fix 3001. But Seeker Anchorfix 3030 will be your go-to if you need the higher C2 rated anchoring adhesive. You'll find detailed technical information about each product on Seeker's website. But here are the most important things that you need to know. Both products are high performance, epoxy based, solvent free chemical anchoring adhesives for structural applications. Both have a long open time and can be used on damp concrete. They are also both suitable for contact with drinking water, they're fire resistant, styrene free, they offer shrink free hardening and have good adhesion to the substrate. And here are the key differences so you can decide which is best for your project. Seeker Anchor Fix 3001 comes in a single 250ml cartridge, fits a standard application gun and is C1 rated. Seeker Anchor Fix 3030 can be used for seismic applications where high load capacities are required. It comes in a twin 585mm cartridge and requires a Seeker Anchor Fix 3030 dispenser gun. Both products come with static mixer nozzles and spare nozzles are also available. And here's the added bonus that helps take that guesswork completely out of using chemical adhesives. Seeker have developed a very cool volume calculation app that helps you to work out consumption of all types of Seeker Anchorfix chemical anchoring adhesives, as well as design and calculation software for those using Seeker Anchorfix 3001. Both of these are easily found on the Seeker website under Downloads and Resources Software and Apps tab. If you're just after the app, it's also available in Google Play or the App Store. So that's it for today. Three great products that meet all your chemical anchoring needs from one of the industry's leading brands. For detailed technical information, head to seeker.co.nz. From the team here at Construct Learning, thanks for tuning in and see you next time.